So, um, here to talk about two things this week. Um, the first is the campaign that we're running for um, better paying conditions for postgrad teaching assistants across the university. Uh, and the second um, is the fair pay campaign for all staff in UCL um, and universities across the country uh, and the upcoming strike action that's uh, happening around that. First of all, postgrad teaching assistants and um, postgrads who teach have been on the sharp end of exploitation in our universities for quite a long time. Um, we're on low pay if we're paid at all uh, and often we're not paid for all our hours, meaning that when you work it out in real terms, we're often earning even less than minimum wage. Uh, but at UCL, in a number of departments, people are starting to stand up for their rights. And we're seeing some wins already, for instance, in epidemiology. Um, TAs weren't being paid at all. They've now won wages for every single person working. Um, and in history of art, they've uh, persuaded their department to enter discussions on matching their pay better to the hours they're actually working. Uh, so this week, we're going to have a meeting. We're going to hear from some of these campaigns that have won um, and how uh, other departments can do the same thing. Uh, and we're going to talk about setting up a UCLY campaign to uh, complement all these local efforts. So if that's something you're interested in getting involved in, uh, come along uh, to the Medawa Watson Lecture Theatre um, at 6.30 uh, this Wednesday. Uh, but it's not just teaching assistants who are on the sharp end of um, pay issues. Uh, but it's all staff actually in our university and universities across the country. They're fighting f uh, pay cuts, uh, m sorry, further pay cuts on top of a 13% that they've, that's already been slashed. This is one of the worst um, cuts in pay in any profession since the Second World War in this country. There's also a sexist 14% gender gap between the pay of men and women working in universities and thousands of workers across the country uh, in education still not receiving even the basic living wage. We know that university bosses can afford this. Uh, the sector has been running significant surpluses and awarding senior managers um, much larger pay rises than the, staff, than the other staff who make our education happen. And th this is a matter for students as well. Um, not just because some of us are TAs facing these pay cuts directly, but because our education suffers when um, staff are stressed, demoralised, overstretched, um, or even pushed to consider leaving the profession. Now staff have been trying to negotiate over this, but their bosses just won't listen, which has led to this ongoing campaign, including the strikes we saw last term. Staff have announced more strikes coming up uh, on the 6th of February all day, uh, and some staff will be out um, 9 till 11 o'clock on the 10th of February as well. Uh, the aim of these strikes is to shut down the university. The message is to senior managers, we are the community that makes the university work and until we're all treated fairly, you can't expect the university to keep functioning as normal. So if you support uh, the Fair, Pan Fair Pay campaign, the best thing you can do is not undermine the strike. Don't go in, don't cross the picket lines. Uh, if you can, come along to the picket lines, support the staff, help, hand, help them hand out information. Uh, obviously, if you're a teaching assistant yourself, please, if you haven't already, join the UCU, take part in the strike, uh, and definitely don't cover for colleagues who are out. It's important we don't allow divides to be placed between ourselves and the staff who make our education happen. If we work together, we really can win a fairer and better university for all of us.